6 a.m. and we are going to start our drive this morning. Well, the co-pilot's up nice and early. Hey, buddy. Today's a big day, bro. Today's a big day. start oh guys I'm a little bit nervous about today you hear that you join squeak all right folks here we go hoping to make five and a half hours this morning getting directions to Hinton Stay in the left two lanes. 4.47 hours. Just about out of Prince George. My guitar is the only friend that gives a damn. Running on the borderline. We need more of this. These straight, long roads are epic. This thing is driving like there's no problems this morning. We just need more of this. I've been on the road now for about an hour and still no cars in my side view mirror. This big downhill into the mountains here makes me worry that there's gonna be an uphill like this. Most of this drive this morning, you would have never have known that my transmission is done. All this flat stuff is great. Right now, look at this thing. She climbing this hill like it's no problem. When I decided to make the just about 1500 kilometer drive into another province to get my transmission rebuilt, I thought I would break this trip into three day segments, 500 kilometers or so each day. And today, I'm a little overconfident. It's been an easy drive this morning. These Alberta roads are nice and flat with a few little rolling hills here and there, which allow you to get up tons of momentum because you can see that hill coming. Unlike in the big mountains where you turn a corner and boom, another hill and you don't have the speed to get it. And when your transmission is, well, <laughs> screwed, uh, those hills are a complete killer. So I'm super confident today that we're gonna crush it all the way into Calgary, Alberta, and I can hand my keys over myself. Oh, looks like we're driving into the mountains. Here's where the heart starts to beat. Can't see the bugs, but Jasper, Alberta this way. We should be coming up on the Alberta border pretty soon. That means our time goes ahead one hour. Those big mountains ahead of us, those are the Canadian Rocky Mountains. So far, man, this drive has been beautiful. That's Mount Robson or Robbins? Robson? I don't remember. We're coming up on the side. We'll find out soon. This is such a beautiful area. To be honest, I thought I was an idiot for even thinking that I wanted to drive this van 14 or 15 hours <laughs> with a transmission that the shop and Terrace told me, you ain't gonna make it home, bro. That's exactly what he said. He goes, I'd be shocked if you did. Well, <laughs> challenge accepted. She's crushing this drive today. travel from the front seat of your home and knock it out. Technically this is what traveling is, right? So we're still traveling even though we're making a mad dash to get to town. Alright, against my 
better judgment. We're gonna make a little pit stop here. All right, a little bathroom break for me and Cruzy. Dump some garbage. Are y'all ready? Here we go again. Good morning, sir. We're on the great big adventure on our way to Calgary. He's like looking at me like, dude, you're, you're, you're crazy, dad. I know we're crazy, bro, but we got to get there. <laughs> bro, why are you going to give me that look? He's so good at the side eye. He's not impressed. We're officially crossing over a time zone here. Welcome to Alberta. Hey, good morning. Um, we're actually driving through, but I'm gonna pick up an annual pass anyway. For sure. Um, how many people are usually traveling? Just me. It'll be a single adult, huh? My last one ran out. It's always good to have. You never know, right? No, I think it's such a good investment. I don't know. Oh, it's, it's way worth it. I'm, I'm a little biased, but... <laughs> <laughs> I had one before I worked at the park, so... Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully I can move out of here. I'm hobbling my van to Calgary. I have a blown transmission. Oh, okay. So it's been, it's been a slow <laughs> hobble. Oh, you hear that? What's that right there? Two great big ones. You see down there? Right there? Is that a couple of caribou, a couple of elk? I can't see it, that was too quick. Yeah, guys, buying an annual parks pass, amazing idea, all the time. Knowing that I can start in first, shift to second, and then into drive, gives me a bit more confidence for stopping because we have to stop downtown Jasper to pick up some more fuel. I'm not sure if we're going to make it all the way through the park to Hinton. So we're going to stop. But I was worried about it because, you know, Jasper is a touristy town and I don't know how busy it's going to be, how many, you know, start and stops there's going to be. Pulling into Jasper, let's not hit this red light. Let's make it, let's make it, make it, make it, make it, make it. You got this, you got this. So I was a little nervous to come here because I know these gas stations get busy and I don't want to get stuck at a pump blocking everybody's means of getting fuel. Oh, my van sounds bad. Gas in Alberta is nice and cheap, 149.9. All right, here goes nothing. Overdrive. Ooh, listen to that. Oh, that sounds getting really bad. All right, I don't wanna stop, I don't wanna stop. Let's keep going, let's keep going. Don't make me stop, don't make me stop. Oh, you can just hear that grind, it's getting bad. Oh, that's Lauren checking in, making sure I'm doing okay. The little village here in Jasper is really cool. This is about as far as we're gonna see it today. <laughs> it's a really cool spot. Oh, that thing's cool. Check that thing out. Ah, oh, it's slipping really bad here. And we gotta stop here at the end too. Try downshifting. See if that helps. Yeah, and drive back there was just going. Nah, 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 nah. Okay, this is a troublesome one, especially if there's traffic coming. Ah. Oh, make it across without getting smashed. Oh, we did it! <laughs> the great hobble to Calgary continues. Oh, we got a big butt here on the side of the road. Right there. What's this guy getting out of his car for? Don't do that, bro. You don't think those like sheep there are gonna headbutt your, you know what? There's some sheep on the road there. Or goats, whatever they are. If you're new to being around wildlife, just so you know, when you see animals in a national park, stay in your car. 
people get out all the time. They're snapping pictures of bears and stuff with mama bear right there. Like, oh, look at the little cubs. Mama bear will tear your head off. You don't think those little buggers aren't gonna chase you down? You get too close? <laughs> Stay in your car. Only five and a half hours away from Calgary. Well, made it to Hinton, Alberta. And we still got a full tank of gas. I think we're gonna keep going. Why not? The van's rolling. I got a bit more energy left. These red lights are stressful. Pick up some speed. That is a long hill. Ooh, let's go. I wonder if this would be a good spot to camp out. the sign say user maintained area camping allowed in 3.4 kilometers turn left onto township road 530a okay we're not going there anymore you can go away now I'm in there we go right here I say this spot will do. The main highway is right there, so you can hear the hum of it. But honestly, man, I don't care, man. It's a great little spot. Little pond. Cruz is having himself some breakfast. I'm fried. 100% completely brain dead rattled. <laughs> That's been a lot over the last little bit with figuring out the mechanical stuff and then then deciding to to brave this big trek into into calgary with a huge risk of blowing that tranny out somewhere and leaving us stuck in the middle of a highway blocking everything that's the worst part it breaks down somewhere we just tow it into the next town but for me it's that inner fear of what if i'm blocking an intersection and out she goes then I feel like a tool and I don't want that feeling. So that's been the biggest rattle for me is backing up traffic, people throwing me the middle finger, people honking at me. I had the honking part of it already, people getting annoyed because I was going slow. But uh, well, we're on the last and final trek into Metro Ford in Calgary. I've got a couple more days before I can be there. So I have the new Starlink dish, which I haven't used. Maybe we'll go set that up right now and see if it actually works because I really could use some internet so I could keep you guys posted and updated on my travels because I'm trying my hardest to get these videos out to you guys. Like what I film one day goes up the very next day. So you guys keep right on my bumper through this whole, whole thing until we finally get to Metro Ford. Uh, nice new dish. Um, so my other dish gets put back in this box and then uh, shipped back. There we go. <laughs> Going without Starlink for a while was rough. Really, really rough. That's a luxury I never want to live without. So what I think happened with my initial dish was the plug that's on the bottom. Um, it's just got a proprietary plug right in the bottom of it. And from what I understand, it's a high fail point on those. But uh, yeah, anyway, they warrantied it. They sent me out a new dish. I just got to send mine back to them. Oh man, so now that we are officially on the home stretch, if you want to call it that, we should talk about my plan for when my van goes into the shop. This won't be a fast repair. It's probably going to take 10 days. I've been eating a fair amount of sausages lately. I don't know, they're just damn delicious. Oh yeah, we know that's not good for me. <laughs> Who are you? You're a big one. It's probably the sausages. 
Who's probably camped out over there going, I know where dinner's at. You coming to say hi? Well, I'll be careful with my dog, buddy. Hi, how are you? Hi. Hmm? Hmm? Well, I'll get love. Hmm? Thanks for the love. So here's what's gonna happen. I take my van to Metro Ford. They will hold it for a couple of days and try to squeeze me in between other customers to pull my transmission out. Once it's out, they're sending it to a transmission rebuild shop in Calgary, which will do the job. They figure they're gonna need that for a maximum of seven days, one week. Um, just because it's a rush job, they're trying to squeeze me in between other customers again. But they figured a week on the rebuild shop and then it'll be back to Ford. Ford will get me in right away pop that baby back in and we'll be back on the road. So he figures a downtime of about 10 days without my home. Fingers crossed it's not more. So what the heck am I gonna do for 10 days with no home? I got a plan. I may need to grab a hotel for one night, but I'm looking at renting a camper van so we all can go out and do some adventures and explore and for me, get to experience what it's like to live in a high top. I figured that'll make good content because so many of you are like, Chrome, you need a high top. So I'm thinking I might go rent one. I was looking at the website on Karma Camper Vans in Calgary and uh, they got like brand new transit vans and stuff. So I'm not sure yet, but that's the potential plan right now is to maybe rent one. And then we all can go back to Jasper National Park, which we just drove through and go explore in the Rocky Mountains and check out the teal colored lakes and all the animals and stuff. We can actually slow down and see them. But I was thinking, okay, what do I do? Do I phone some friends and crash in their vans or, but I'm like, look, man, this is my travel season. I want to go travel. So maybe, maybe we go rent a camper van. I think that might be kind of fun. Check these out, Karma camper vans. Like how awesome are those? These look nice. Look at that. Not a bad trade in for a home. Come on. That's beautiful. <laughs> what do you think? You think it'd be fun? I mean, we're out here on this great adventure, AKA my summer travel season. I think it might be kind of fun to kind of learn some new experiences. Like for me, driving a brand new transit van is something I've really never had the chance to experience before, let alone living for one week in a high top van. You all hype the crap out of high tops. Maybe this is the time that Vansity Van Life shuts his mouth and changes his tone. Cause you all know I'm a big advocate for the low roof van, mainly for, for the, for like, for what I do, I'm not bombing around the backcountry trails. Okay, the rental van, well, we're gonna stick on the pavement with that one. But me, I like the low roof for the backcountry. But you never know, this might make me, uh, maybe maybe I might shut up <laughs> and be like, yeah, bah! high roof, yeah, let's go. <laughs> anyway, guys, let me know what you think about uh, renting a camper van for a week kind of fun you know what i mean it beats sitting in a hotel room for a week waiting for my van to get done we can go explore i like the sound of that all right we gotta rotate the speed here bugs are coming out like a vengeance and pushing air in when the bugs are coming out not a good idea so i want to show you guys something new i got from so cozy you know Sokozy, the company that did my, my front window blackout covers? Well, they released a brand new blackout cover and I got it before I left. They look like, you know, like a, like a regular side window cover. But these ones are hiding a really awesome little secret. Hey, those are nice, right? Sokozy is the name of the brand. Check this out. They got magnets that go all the way around the window frame, making them super easy to install. Bada boom, you shut the door, make sure she's all lined up good. And you pull the top down, gently right there, and there's a screen. A full on screen, which means now when the fan's on, I can roll down the window, let in all that fresh air. So tomorrow is the very last leg of this adventure into Calgary, Alberta. 
We got about five more hours and there's three different routes according to Google that they recommend to go. Some of them look like they bounce through some smaller towns. My worry about the smaller towns is that there's lots of crisscrossy roads and lots of stop signs. Oh, I'm really nervous about this one because now we're getting back into more and more and more traffic. So I plan on hitting the road here. I was originally going to stay here again tomorrow, but I think I'm going to send it into Calgary and just get that scratched off my list. Because if I sit here, then I got that worry again. I just want to get this worry away from me, get into Calgary, park somewhere for the night, then, uh, then get it into Ford the following day. So this is right about where we are now. We're actually just before Edson. The route is to go into Drayton Valley, make this trek all the way down on the plus side. It comes out on the Metro Ford side. So thinking wise, this one might be, so that's 448 kilometers left to go, which is nothing compared to what we've already driven. So, so far we've probably driven a thousand kilometers. So Metro Ford is there. Taking this route would come around the back side of the city. Taking the main highway route would come right in through downtown. I'm really not sure. I mean, ideally kilometer wise, 509 kilometers, 456 kilometers, 448. This one here would be the shortest kilometer wise, but I'm worried about that town, that town, that town here. That last little bit has me worried, <laughs> just a little bit. This van has been an absolute champ. To, to be able to make it as far as we did over the last thousand kilometers with a wounded transmission, beautiful. I think I know this van got a good life. You know, it used to be a delivery van that sat at a used car lot. I bought it, turned it into this amazing thing. This van could have just been delivering furniture. So I think it's been good to me because now it's out here living a good life, <laughs> you know, but uh, making that trek tomorrow, I'm really, really nervous about it. I kind of want to sit here, but I know it's going to be weighing heavy on here. So we're going to send it tomorrow, I think right into there. Oh my gosh. I feel like such an idiot for doing this. And for everybody in my comments that were just like, oh, that's a dumb idea. You're never going to make it so stupid. Why would you put you and Cruzy at risk like that for this? Why would you ever do that to your van? Blah, blah, blah. You're so you're so inconsiderate for for the, the things you own, Chrome. You're so hard on things. So for everybody that said we couldn't do it, I'm a thousand K in. I am like... 430 kilometers away from telling all you guys who said that, who are hating and being negative, that <laughs> sucker, I did it. I guess I should watch what I say. I still got four to 500 kilometers left to go. <laughs> I'm gonna shut my mouth now while I'm ahead. <laughs> anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Come back tomorrow and see if we made it, made it into the big, uh, big cowboy city of, of Calgary. Oh gosh, this was crazy. I can't believe I chose to make this like 1400 kilometer drive. <laughs> oh, summer's all about adventure. So let the adventures begin. See you on the next one.